Hi guys, this is your sister Karen in Jesus Christ. Okay, brothers and sisters, I just want to touch on quickly on Haiti. This is probably going to be the what third video I've done in the past since our second video. No, third, probably the third, probably the third video actually in the past since the Haitian president they've they've taken him out. All right, and I know that the country at the moment is going through a lot. You know, from the taking out the president to the you know what going in the country, have to deal with that. And now, most recently, in recent days, a massive, massive earthquake that has just rippled through the country and devastated and killed a lot of people. Now, brothers and sisters, listen to me now. This is not the time to be pointing finger and saying, oh, see what's happening here in Haiti. The reason why it's happening is because they the, the do a lot of voodoo. They worship different gods. <laughs> and you begin to point finger and say, oh, all the people are wicked. Do not do that. Do not point to finger. Do you know what causes the earthquake? How do you know it's the most high? Yeah, that did it. Answer me that in the comment section. Honestly, for those of you who are jumping up and down and saying, oh, see, God is punishing Haiti. Yah is punishing Haiti for the wickedness, really. And how many other countries are wickeder than Haiti and nothing has happened to them? How wicked is the United States of America and Britain? And yet they're in their glory and nothing is happening at the moment. So you don't know, brothers and sisters, if that earthquake is from the Mosai Yah. For you to be jumping up and down and say that is wicked and God is punishing them. But let me tell you something. That earthquake was not sent by Yah. That earthquake was manipulated and sent by man. And just in case if you do not know, brothers and sisters, that the, the people who control, not everybody, not all of them, but some of them or the people, some of the people who control the uh, um who can monitor earthquake and stuff like that, they can manipulate the tectonic plates through CERN, right? Underneath the bottom of the sea and can direct it exactly where they want this thing to go. Just like how they can create geostorm. They can create earthquake. They can make the rainfall. They can get fake clouds, right? And, and make the rainfall. They can get fake sun. So they can manipulate, right? They can manipulate and cause earthquake. And I believe that's what's happening in Haiti. I believe that the wicked, there's something with Haiti. Because whether they're sitting on a gold mine, I don't know. But in my spirit, I do feel, I do believe that, that Haiti is rich in some form of business. You know, <laughs> I don't know, but I believe, I, I believe like, I don't know, Monstrat, Haiti, Dominic, Dominica, not Dominica Republic, but Dominic, Dominica, and let's throw in St. Lucia. This is what the Lord is speaking to me about. Let's call them again, Haiti, Monstrat. Dominica, St. Lucia, there's more, but these four Caribbean countries came up in my spirit, brothers and sisters. They're very, 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 very rich in something and the wicked knows it. It's like Africa. It's like Congo. Down there in Congo, underneath their mountains and wherever, they're filled with gold. Diamonds. And the wicked knows this. They know, brothers and sisters, it's only the people that's living on the island don't know anything because they're asleep. They're like sheeps. Imagine sheeps and you've got the, um, the shepherd, the wicked shepherd that's just ushering the sheep and telling the sheep wherever to go. That's how they're treating the people. But this earthquake, this, what is it? This 7.2 or whatever, 7 point, however it is, Right? I don't believe this was not I, I don't believe this was not sent by the Mosai Yah. 
yes, sure, he allowed it to happen. There's a difference, right? But in terms of him sending it, no, this is the wicked that's done this. Because they're not done with hate yet. And why do you think Bill Clinton, is it Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton? So I'm just trying to get my Bible. Oh, Lord. Oh. Why do you think that Bill Clinton, Bill, yeah, Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton have such interest in Haiti? Why? Because they're no brothers and sisters. And if they can kill off as much people as they can and go down into, into that country and rape the country, you know, for its riches, then they will do it because this is what the Gentile nation have been doing since slavery. They have not changed. They haven't changed, brothers and sisters. I know you think that these Gentile people have changed, you're sleeping. The only time they change unless they come fully to Jesus Christ of Nazareth and given their hearts to the biblical Messiah. But apart from that, it's in their DNA to do wicked, unfortunately. And, you know, and if they don't repent and stop going into people's countries and taking what is not there, the Lord is going to deal with these unrepented Gentile people. I am telling you, he's going to do it because enough is enough. And people have got to understand what time it is. You've got to understand your past to understand your future. You've got to understand why the Most High Yah sends judgment. But this, this, this earthquake business that happened in Haiti, brothers and sisters, this is man-made. Just like the volcano in St. Vincent. Saint, yeah, St. Vincent. Is this, yes, it's St. Vincent. Just like that earthquake, no, that volcanic eruption. In St. Vincent, that is man-made. You've got to understand judgment. You've got to understand when a judgment is from the Most High, yeah, when he himself sent that thing. Obviously, nothing happened in the land except the Lord knows about it. So, yes, he knows that all these earthquakes that these wicked man-made people are going to do. He knows. He knows, Right? But you've got to understand how the Lord works. Um, where am I? I want to, I want to read. Um, so Matthew 24 talks about. <coughs> sorry. St. So Matthew 24 talks about um, earthquake. 24 verse 7. And shall be famines and pestilences. And earthquakes in diverse places. The Lord talks about it, brothers and sisters. This is Bible. This is end time prophecy. I don't understand what you're waiting on. Are you waiting for a massive earthquake to, to happen in America and in England for you to wake up and say, oh, that's it now. End the days. Because I feel like in my spirit, I get the notion that when earthquake happens, if it's not in the Western world and it's somewhere like, okay, Indonesia or... Uh, Japan or China, even Africa, people don't take it serious. They just think, oh, it's another earthquake. But you've got to take it serious. You've got to understand that we're in the end of days, diverse places, brothers and sisters. Earthquake is going to happen in diverse places. And mankind is so wicked and so evil that they can literally conjure up and make earthquake to happen. And this is what's happening to Haiti. Because Haiti is sitting on some rich, rich stuff. And I'm tell I feel it in my spirit. I know this is truth. I just don't know what they're sitting on. But in my spirit, it's something that's valuable. It's something that's very, 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 very rich. And I'm saying this, but, but you know, <laughs> for the Jamaicans that are watching this, I don't think Jamaica is sitting on anything rich because if you were, you would have been invaded. Trust me. You definitely would. Not these Gentile people. Not going to see another country with riches and they'll go in and take it. They will. But. Haiti. And I call some more. Three other more Caribbean country. 
very very rich in something very 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 rich and that's why and they're gonna keep on sending these wicked earthquakes brothers and sisters this is the reason why you don't cast judgment you don't cast judgment upon the people when you see something is happening all right so we look down into afghanistan all right so what the muslims they worship Allah, you know they worship a different god but that doesn't mean that you're gonna have to, you, keep, you, you cast judgment because there's still God's people down in Afghanistan anyways. He's still got his people there. His people are all over the world. Just as though they're in wicked America, wicked Britain, you know, wicked France and Spain and all these European countries. They, they are there. So just because a judgment and a situation is happening in a particular country, it doesn't mean that the Most High Yah has turned his back on his people. He will save whom he wants to save. But in his saving, reserve your judgment. Don't be hastily to cast your judgment. You know, there's so much to unpack and so much to, to learn here. So much to unpack and so much to learn. But that's probably gonna be for for another video but yes brothers and sisters honestly i wanted to come and talk about haiti and what's going on in that country and just to let you know that that earthquake that happened it is not of the most high yeah it is man-made it is they're the ones who have messed about with the tectonic plates and directed that thing into haiti because haiti is sitting on something extremely extremely rich powerful and valu valuable valuable they just don't know well maybe some of them know actually but it's a very very rich country i know it's poor it's like africa isn't it you know you look into africa and you think oh god what poor down there don't they you know you've seen all these things on tv what the people want to show you but africa is one of the richest countries in the whole entire world Africa is so rich that it doesn't matter how many Gentile nations go down there and rape the country. It just keep on bringing up resources. But sadly enough, the people are not benefit, benefiting from it. Very sad, really. But yes, brothers and sisters, be bold, be strong, be courageous. Walk with Yah, just like Enoch. All praises, all beautiful praises to the Most High Yah who lives above the heavens. Yeah, eternally bless you. I love you all and I will see you soon. Someday in glory, in Jesus Christ's precious holy name. Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen.